welcome back and uh, well work cut out now tonight for Korea after a winning start in the mixed doubles for Hong Kong Lee and Chow coming through in straight sets and it's men's singles up next as Lee Dong Kyung tries to get Korea back on level terms up against Wong Wing Ki. also very much a, a rubber in the balance. If you're wondering what that noise is, I think it's uh, I think the Germany team who have been actually tied against Chinese Taipei. Someone's brought in a new toy. is probably where tonight they felt they had their best chance of upsetting Korea. Of course, uh, in terms of the world rankings, well, one win key higher than Lee Dong Kyung. You grin. So? What? What? Okay. Hana of Indonesia, the uh, umpire. Uh, Lee Dong Kyun is the uh, lowest ranked among the top men's shuttlers for all 12 teams in level one. He is uh, ranked 63rd in the world. One wing key hit at number 15. Interesting that uh, Humu, after winning last night, not selected for this, despite his victory. As we look at Lee Dong Kyun, 63rd in the world. You can see, though, it's uh, not a bad win-loss ratio this year. Winner of the Korea Open Grand Prix Gold in December. Got to the quarterfinals of the Australian Open, semi-finals of the New Zealand Open. Also in pretty decent nick is Wong Wing Ki. Quarterfinals of the Asian Badminton Championship. Quarters of the German Open semi-finals in Korea. Also gave uh, Lee Chong Wei a bit of a scare at the All England too. And interesting his selection tonight, Jill. Um, now he's uh, the team manager admits he's been uh, attracting attention from Indonesia where his father is from and I think uh, the fact that he's picked tonight may be something to do with that to say look you know we've got our faith in you and we want you to compete for us on the international stage possibly I think uh, as far as Wong Wing Ki is concerned I think he's a very very good player but, anyway but you, you, know, you had a guy last night that won and played really well in Humu yeah but he had three long games last night so the fatigue of of that could have been a factor when you look at the fact that Wong Wing Ki has um, well you've mentioned the fact he had a tremendous match uh, against uh, Lee Chong Wei at the All England this year in fact he had two match points which he failed to convert but he has beaten the likes of Lin Dan mm -hmm. he's beaten Chen Jin former world champion he's beaten Du Peng Yu current world number three He's had some wonderful results. He's even beaten the uh, top Korean pair for the last few years, Lee hyun -il, who, of course, was fourth at the London Olympic Games. So, you know, if I was doing a selection, I probably would have selected him anyway. I would have shared the men's singles between Hu Hyun and Wong Lin Ki over these two group matches. I'm not surprised by it, to be honest. Okay. It's a fair assessment. Represented by Wu Wing Ki. Korea to serve, love all, play. Thank you. 
it's over. One. I think what's interesting to me about this uh, Korean team as a whole, as far as the Sudaman Cup campaign is concerned, is how how strong they are in the doubles disciplines and how um, not weak. Comparatively weak. Well, I'm not. E but they don't have the strength in depth in the men's singles. You know, uh, since the retirement of uh, Lee Hyun Il, who came out of retirement actually to play in the recent Axiata Cup for the Asia All Stars and played quite brilliantly. But he's not part of the national setup and therefore he wasn't considered. Song Wan Ho, of course, who uh, was the other very good international uh, men's singles player, he won the uh, Super Series event in Delhi last year. He has had to do his military service since the Olympic Games, so he's been out of international action. He's here, though, isn't he? He has come here, but he, he hasn't been playing internationally. You've just been telling us about uh, Lee, Lee Dong and he, how he's been playing internationally. He's been playing well. So again, if you look at it from a selection point of view, I probably would go with Lee Dong Hyun because he's the one who's been having international experience. He's match fit, if you he's like. Exactly. Three, one. But many singles is the one discipline, that I think, Two, as far as career is concerned, where they're struggling a little bit at the moment. Two very fine women singles players, and doubles isn't in question. But in this overall match, I mean, Hong Kong, but, it, 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 you know, we were just talking off air in between the matches there. They've got a pretty good women's doubles pair as well, haven't they? So mm, yes. suddenly that mixed doubles result means this is a very much a, a debatable destiny of who's going to actually get through. Could throw the group wide open. Absolutely. That is delightful. And that means, you know, say Hong Kong were to win tonight, and they, they have a Three. win, Thailand have a win, Korea then go and beat Thailand. It all comes down to how many matches you've won, doesn't it? That's right. And well, if that's even, then the number of points won. Well, games first. Uh, do you think so? You're saying you might need to bring our calculators over tomorrow. I, th I think we might need to do that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just see what happens tonight first. going out well I think uh, Lee Dong Kion yeah he's having a word with the umpire I thought it made hit his body first in hit one of his the shirt yeah yeah I think he has a fair point yeah. there well, if we both saw it then uh, I'm sure he saw it too From Lee Dong Kyung. Oh. Yeah, cool Korean badminton players, supremely fit athlete. But I have to say, I do have to think that his grip 
does look a little odd to me. Go on, stand on that a little bit. Um, if you look at most players, a badminton player will hold the racket in their fingers, and uh, he seems to hold it too much in the palm of the hand, and it's almost to me as if he's playing with a panhandle grip. Do you know what I mean by yeah, panhandle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But, you know, I'm watching his overheads and whether he can generate the power, and he's, there's no question about his power, but the problem he will have with his deception. Okay. Beca because if you're holding the racket too tight in the palm of the hand, then the whole of the forearm becomes very tight and very stiff, and therefore you can't just, at the last moment, switch the direction and cause the deception by rolling the wrist for the reverse slice or slicing across the feathers. So to me, he's, he's going to have to rely on his physicality. Okay. Yeah, going well for him right now. Okay, interesting point. That's a prime example of the problem he has with his grip. Can't, couldn't relax the wrist as, you, as he tries to play that. That's why he made the error. It's good judgment, though. So that's just long. That is over. Ten. Eight. Well, Korea need Lee Dong Kyun to step up to the plate here to get them back on level terms. And so far, he's doing what he needs to do. 11 9 up at the first interval. Very good movement from Lidong Kyun. Thank you. 
Lawan Kati. Court there for which he immediately apologizes. Yeah, he needed that though. As you say, it normally evens itself out. Not always though. from the Korean. Nicely played. That is over. Got to stick with him here as uh, Wong Wong Ki give himself a hope of getting back into this set, which he's uh, trailed mostly. Oh, nice chance there. That is over. 16, 13. Very good judgment. 17, 13. Korean really isn't giving his opponent any angles to play with a number of times in this opening game. He's kept the shuttle when he's pressurizing, when he's attacking. He's kept it down the center of the court and it's not giving Wong Wen Ki anything to work with. 19, 14. Yeah, very impressive it's been. 
especially with the pressure that's built up after his uh, next doubles pair before him succumbed. Lee Dong Kyung here with game points. That to me was a little bit lazy. Playing the backhand there, I thought he had time to move his feet and play what we call the round the head shot. Yeah, he just needs to get focused again, doesn't he? Play. Yeah, I think he's right. He's saying his score should be 2016. There you go. The scoreboard was saying 2017. Probably got a bit of a fright there for a second, didn't he? 21 16 it is. Lee Duncan takes the opening, the opening game and uh, good performance. Korean teammates watch on and they'll be uh, pleased with what they're seeing so far from Lee Dong Kyung. put an Love. awful lot of pressure on his opponents when he comes forward to the nets. Lee Dong Kion. She pays the shot quite often. Oh, that's a good smash. That is over. One out. Blows that he dealt with well there. Uh, Don Kim, but in the end, Two, what seems to be a one. more aggressive one we king, one we hung rather. It's 
He's missed at the front of the court. Three, but it's interesting to me. I don't think he plays the net nearly enough. Every time he comes forward, he tries to put pressure on opponents. Lee, whereas very rarely does he try playing a tight spinning net shot. So is the best way forward then for the uh, Hong Kong player to, to try and get into these net shots then if well, Wong isn't that comfortable with them? Well, I think every time Wong Wing Key blocks the shuttle, he should realise that either his opponent is just going to guide it rather than playing a tumbling net shot, or he's going to push hard. So he really doesn't have to worry that much about going forward to, to uh, threaten the net area because he's never really going to play there. He's either going to guide the shuttle, as I say, or push it. See that net shot there? There was no tumbling or spinning of the net sh of the shuttle at all, and that shouldn't be a threat. A player who can't tumble the net shot shouldn't be a threat at the front of the court in men's singles. Lift, guide. See the frustration though for Wong though, because he's uh, just not coming up with the shots. Very, very important next couple of rallies right now. <laughs> Soon as Long Wing P played a tight Seven, spinning net shot, eight. you know your opponent's going to ha have to lift it because he can't play the tight spinning net shot back gets back quickly the Hong Kong player then he's got the opportunity to play the winner oh. 
Oh, it's just wide. Ten, seven. Yeah, the gap was there. Yeah, it was just wide. Nine. So, T was that. Mm, a little look from Wong Wing Key towards the umpire, hoping for an overall. I was convinced that was wide. Yeah, it was. Good call, line judge. So 11-7 after winning the first set. Lee Dong Kyun in charge at the moment. You feel there could be a way back still, though, for Wong Wing Key. Good placement of the smash, Nine, aiming towards the 11. right hip. Yeah, Kion. Yep, perfect. Just the start one wing key needed after the restart. Very quick forward. Over, 12, nine. Well, this is possibly why Wong Wing Key hasn't been playing enough net shots. He knows his opponent is coming forward very quickly indeed. Oh, string's gone in the racket of Wong Wing Key, I think. Maybe it was just a miss hit. I think the string's gone. Yeah, there we go. Throws the racket to his opponent in the umpire. Can always tell when a string breaks because it's a different sound of the shuttle coming off the racket. Yeah, it's that dreaded sound. Yeah. <laughs> Must send shivers through you.
also with this Group 1B, a match nicely poised at one match apiece in the overall tie. Next up is men's doubles. Of course, women's singles will follow that and will end with women's doubles. But here's the lineup for the men's doubles. Uh, Kim Ji Jung and Kim Sa Rang of Korea up against the Hong Kong pair. And this may be a little bit of a surprise selection of Chan Yung Lung and Eng Ka Long. So the players led out onto court by Henrik Boas of Denmark. And of course, the Korean pair very highly rated in world terms number five in the world ranking at the moment but of course i suppose really shot to fame last year when they became the asian champions and then again last year picked up their very first super series title in tokyo at the japan open well, i'm absolutely delighted to say that morton frost former world number one men's singles player has joined me back in the commentary box and it may be a little bit of a surprise on the men's doubles from Hong Kong. Of course, this is not the pair that played last night. Are you surprised by it? Um, both yes and no. I, I think that uh, Hong Kong, they know that they might not be able to win this doubles and they would like to give the younger ones uh, some experience. So I, I think, you know, it's a, it's a wise choice. And... Uh, I think uh, the one called Kai Long, I saw him play in uh, in Mexico in the World Juniors and has improved a lot. So, Yeah, y you're not kidding, because, of course, he won a gold medal at the World Juniors last year. Okay. That's with good. the, uh, the yeah. young man we've just seen in the in mix mixed doubles. Okay, so they won it. Absolutely. So talk about improvement. And, I mean, I haven't seen an awful lot of the Hong Kong players on the uh, Super Series circuit, but what I've seen, I've been very impressed with. But let's look first of all at the Koreans, uh, Kim Ji Jung and Kim Sa Rang of Korea, 22 and 23 years of age respectively. And their win-loss record for the year translates into reaching the final of the Asian Championships in Taipei. Of course, they won the gold medal at the Asian Championships in Qingdao the year before. Beaten this year in the final by their teammates uh, Go Sung Hyung and Lee Yong Dae. So to the Hong Kong pair. And of course, they are the underdogs for this. Well, we're not really getting much from <laughs> those stats, are we? Because this is the <laughs> first time that they've ever played together. Zero, 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 <laughs> zero. <laughs> yes, but let me tell you about Ng Ka Long, apart from the fact that he's world junior champion in the men's doubles. Also a very fine singles player. He's currently yes. ranked yes. 105 in the world. Yes. Reached the final earlier this year of the Vietnam International Challenger event. Now, something that's really impressed me about the development of the Hong Kong players, Morton, I've seen the women's doubles pair mm, that... It's coming through, yes. Coming through, but both of those women's doubles players have been regularly playing on the singles tournaments as well as the doubles. Yeah. This is what they've Definitely. done with these men's doubles players. But I think they keep them longer playing two events than what normally is done. And uh, I think it's uh, actually giving them... Uh, a lot of experience and um, maybe um, it helps a lot. Uh, we usually say in Denmark, you, even though you're a singles player, still practice some doubles because it will be good for your singles and vice versa. Well, absolutely. And I know you, apart from being a world number one men's singles player, you've been an international coach of the very, very highest standard. And I guess just to sort of prove your point, I'm immediately thinking of Peter Gader, who in 1994 won the world junior men's doubles, doubles yes. and went on to become number one in the <laughs> men's singles. singles. Yeah. So the whole development of a player and playing all, all three disciplines, or would you just keep it to two? A lot of people play actually three in, in Denmark. Ladies a lot of them play three in the beginning. On my and right, then they, um, Korea uh, represented by take Kim Take it down Kim to Yung, two Kim and then eventually down to one. But uh, left, you know, China, in the beginning it's all three. Yeah. Chan Yong Yong, Eun Kan Long. Korea to serve. Kim Sang Rang. 
Chan Young Lung. The two Hong Kong players are quite hard hitting, I noticed here in the one. So Kim and Kim, all Korea, nearest to us. Time's over. Thank you, Jung. One all.